I recently visited Sheffield Children's with my son Hassan, who has asthma. During our appointment, his doctor asked to speak to us about a research study looking at children's control of their asthma, which he thought we might be interested in taking part in. At first, I wasn't keen, but I thought there's no harm in learning more about it. The doctor was really helpful and sat with us for a while describing clearly and simply what the study involved, and we had a good chat about it. I've always thought that research involves lots of additional procedures that would be risky and unsafe, but the doctor assured me that they always put the patient's health first, and before research is allowed to take place, it must go through a full review by a research ethics committee and any necessary regulatory bodies to make sure that it's as safe as possible, designed appropriately and suitable for volunteers to take part in. I had other questions, which I'd never considered before such as how would Hassan's data be used, what information would be collected, and if it would be shared. The doctor assured me that Hassan's personal data would be dealt with confidentially, and his information wouldn't be passed outside of his care team without our consent. I also thought that research would involve attending lots of appointments, but was surprised to learn that taking part in a study could simply mean completing questionnaires at home or telephone interviews. This particular study required us to come to the hospital for a few appointments across the year to have specific measurements taken in clinic to check his asthma control. Luckily, for this study, our travel expenses would be covered. We were also told that we could stop taking part in the study at any time and wouldn't need to give any reasons and this wouldn't affect Hassan's care. After this initial conversation, Dr Adam gave me a study information pack so that we could read through it at home and discuss with our family before making a decision. The information pack was quite long, which was overwhelming at first, but the nurse explained that they must provide us with all the relevant information, and that if I had any questions, I could get in touch with the research team. After reading through the information, I still had some questions so I decided to call the research team and spoke to the research nurse. It was really good because I felt that no question was a silly question and I discussed all my thoughts and concerns with her. After that, I spoke to her son and we decided to take part in the study and arranged an appointment with the research team to sign the consent forms. We had a few appointments which suited our schedule but had to miss some which we rearranged. After the research study had finished, we received information on the findings. This was great because we felt Hassan's participation was valued, and we understood the impact the research could have for the asthma community. This was a positive experience, and helped us overcome our fears of research, and I even looked for other research we could take part in. If you get the chance to, I would recommend discussing research opportunities with your child's doctor.